Leslie, how are you? I'm good. How you doing, Scott? I'm good. I love your jumper slash shirt. It's hey, so hey. vibrant and so wonderful. I, I feel I feel very underdressed now, <laughs> as always. <laughs> uh, before I start, I wanted to say, and here's something you might not know. This is just a little fanboy thing. In my 2021 Spotify playlist, you are number one with a bullet on my phone. So I thought I'd let wow. you have that. You were Sam you Cook. That. You were Sam Thank Cook you. in one night in Miami. Thank so yeah, I can't stop listening to your your voice. I think people think I'm in love with you. I'm not. I mean, I am platonically, I guess, but it's all good. Yes. Anyway, on to Newark. Um, congratulations on the film. It's 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 wonderful, and you are wonderful in it. Tell me about the character that you play and why you were drawn to him because there's. He does so much. There's a lot going on. He's so important to so many parts of the the story, both in terms of the Sopranos, but also in terms of the the world around him. I think, like probably, my experience was maybe a little similar to those actors in the original run of the series, in that uh, you know, because I wasn't playing a character that existed before, I was just inspired by David's writing. You know, I was so uh captivated by it and, and yeah inspired by it. so i just kept walking toward that it was it was it was stirring up something in me and so like i've learned enough as a performer to know that like when that thing is happening don't question it just keep keep following that feeling uh yeah yeah and i mean you've been in lots of kind of ensembles before but this one yeah. really does have a great power behind it and people like ray liotta particularly you know he has a lot of fans because of Goodfellas. What was it like working alongside him and Alessandro? Because both of them and the rest of the cast, everybody's in such amazing form. Yeah, it's great. As you as you noted, it is not my first experience being a part of a killer ensemble. Uh, you know, forgive the pun. But uh, <laughs> I, yeah, that that's in many ways, in many ways that's my favorite place to be as an actor uh, because there's a give and a take and um, it forces me to like rise to, to the occasion you know because when you're yeah opposite Alessandro and in the company of those great actors it's like um, even Michaela I thought she's so wonderful I loved working mm. with her too um, you're really I'm really just trying to give as good as I'm getting because I'm getting quite a bit yeah and in terms of your your career obviously people know you from Hamilton and lots of other stuff as well but in terms of the the characters you're getting to play now you must be so excited with the work you've been able to do and you've been able to kind of I guess break through in different ways that maybe you hadn't even anticipated as a as an actor no there no anticipation no I have to I mean please I thought I was gonna do plays you know i thought I, if i remember you know when i was in school man i hoped if i could find some repertory company somewhere you know that allowed me to do three or four plays a year maybe you know play little different parts if they're you know i just i wanted to be a part of a of a community that valued me as a storyteller and in and in some ways i had the thought not too long ago i was like you know if you're lucky enough and i have been that, that Hollywood kind of becomes that little repertory company, mm. you know, and you get to play little parts in, in all these different things and people allow you to shape shift. And sometimes you have a big part, sometimes you have a small part, but you, you get to be a part of these uh, different stories. And so I'm, I feel very lucky. Yeah, and just finally, you talk about ensembles. Obviously, Knives Out 2 is, is coming. There's so much secrecy around it, even though the first one kind of crept up on people a lot and became this huge explosion. Why you can't tell me anything, what was it like being in that ensemble led by a departing James Bond, Daniel Craig? Uh, um, Ryan's, Ryan Johnson's reputation precedes him. You know, he's just, just about the most generous, kind, wonderful person that you'll ever meet working in the business especially with the success that he's had. And so that is the spirit. He, there, are people, there are people working on this movie that have done every movie with Ryan, you know, mm. that, that since, since he was barely paying them, you know, like that's the kind of guy he is and that's the kind of people that he surrounds himself with. They're like, they're with him because there's nowhere else they'd rather be. Um, and for these two and a half months or so, I, I've, I understand it. 
<laughs> Plus shooting in Greece isn't so bad. I think it was Greece you, you guys were in or somewhere. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Leslie, lovely to talk to you. Pleasure. And uh, thank you so much for your time. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Is that from the Goonies? Nice. Hey!